In this day and age, robberies happen almost every day, but they happen for fairly small amounts of cash. That's just the sad reality of the societies we live in. But there are those who don't bother with petty theft. They're interested in scoring big and scoring big very fast. The easiest way to do that is to try to rob a bank that stores large amounts of cash. But what is it about bank robbery that gets the adrenaline going? Is it the fame that comes afterward? Perhaps the notoriety? Or just large amounts of cash stuck between four very, very thick walls? Whatever the case is, criminals have been trying to rob banks since the first bank was opened. Criminals used to do it with guns and masks, and today they do it by hacking the servers and transferring money into their own account. We have a list of old-fashioned bank robberies that took place over the last six decades, and they are considered the most incredible bank heists in modern history. What you're about to hear will borderline between brilliance and pure luck. Before we move on to the most incredible bank heists in history, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Dunbar Armored Car Robbery of 1997 In 1997, Alan Pace gathered five of his childhood friends with the goal of robbing the Dunbar Armored Car. After months of elaborate planning, the group managed to rob an armored car and get away with a whopping 18.9 million. But how did Alan Pace come up with this elaborate plan? Well, Pace worked as a regional safety inspector for Dunbar. One day, he came up with an idea which he presented to his friends. With nothing to lose, they agreed and Pace started his planning. He started by examining the armored car routes, the car depot, and security camera timings. Since he already had a key to the facility, he brought his friends inside and ambushed the guards. The gang went on to rob the vault and steal millions. They were able to launder the money via legitimate businesses, but it wasn't until one of the gang members gave his associate some money that had the original cash stamp on it. The police quickly traced this back to him and it wasn't long before he ratted out his friends. And while every single member of the gang was arrested, only $9 million out of the entire sum was recovered. The rest was never found. Brink's Matt Warehouse Robbery of 1983 Remember when we said that some of these happened with pure luck? Well, Brink's Matt Warehouse robbery is an excellent example of that. This robbery happened on November 26, 1983, when a gang of six robbers broke into a warehouse owned by Brink's Matt. Their goal was to rob 3 million pounds in cash bills, but to their surprise, the robbers found an additional 26 million pounds in gold. Three tons of gold bullion, to be exact. Back in 1983, that amounted to $37.9 million, which was an insane sum of money. Although the robbers were lucky enough to stumble upon this much money, their luck soon ran out when the security guard who helped them get in confessed to the crime. However, only two of the six gang members were caught while four remain at large, along with the majority of the gold. The Great Train Robbery of 1963 Close to six decades ago, a man by the name of Bruce Reynolds managed to pull off one of the greatest train robberies in Europe. Reynolds was the leader of a 15-member gang that ambushed a mail train on its way from Glasgow to Houston and stole 2.6 million pounds. Usually, mail trains carry a lot less money, but thanks to a bank holiday in Scotland, the gang took off with much more than they hoped for. Although 2.6 million pounds doesn't sound like much, that is the equivalent of 78 million dollars today. 12 out of 15 robbers were caught just six months after the robbery and sentenced to a total sentence of over 300 years. Bruce Reynolds was able to evade being captured until 1969, and the remaining two accomplices were caught in the early 2000s. Kent Securitas Depot Robbery of $92.5 Million the United Kingdom was left in shock and awe when a group of robbers stole $92.5 million from the Kent Securitas Depot. The robbery took place when one of the Kent Securitas managers was abducted by people in a fake police car. The manager was pulled over by the robbers who pretended to be the police, handcuffed him, and brought him into the car. Few of the robbers held the manager and his wife as hostage, while the rest robbed the depot and stole £53,116,760, equivalent of $92.5 million today. This robbery was the largest cash robbery in the history of the United Kingdom. 2005 Banco Central Robbery at Fortaleza this robbery is something that you've probably seen in a few movies. A group of people bought a house near the Banco Central in Fortaleza, Brazil, spent three months renovating the house and doing gardening work, all in the effort to mask their true goal. They were building a tunnel. 
Yes, the robbers actually bought a house and started digging a tunnel to the bank. It took the robbers three months to dig close to 300 feet of tunnel, 100 meters, and steal 164 million Brazilian reals, which is close to 100 million US dollars. The perpetrators were able to get away with about 90 million dollars, and the rest was never accounted for. Allegedly, the mastermind was shot and killed by the police the same year the robbery took place, but it's suspected that another 18 perpetrators still haven't been caught. Saddam Hussein steals $1 billion from the Iraq Central Bank In 2003, right on the brink of the Second Gulf War and prior to the United States declaring war on Iraq, Saddam Hussein managed to pull off one of the biggest bank robberies in the history of the world. Just a few hours before Baghdad was bombed, he had his son go into the Iraq Central Bank and steal a whopping $1 billion. Interestingly, since Saddam Hussein was a despot, the robbery he committed might not have violated any of the country laws. Talk about irony. Iraqi bank guards steal $300 million. In 2007, a group of guards stole 300 million US dollars from Dar es Salaam Bank in Baghdad. Now, besides the insane amount of cash stolen by the guards, the citizens felt the robbery was quite ironic. Previously, it was their leaders who stole from the citizens, and due to many bank robberies people committed out of poverty, the country increased the number of guards per bank. This time around, it was the guards who stole from the country. So, one Wednesday morning, when managers came to work, they found the bank's vault empty and guards gone. Neither the guards nor the $300 million were ever found. The Reichsbank Robbery in Berlin the 1945 robbery of the Reichsbank in Berlin is one of the most debated robberies ever. It also holds the Guinness World Record for the largest robbery in history. The bank was robbed right after the end of World War II, when Germany collapsed. 1984 records show that robbers stole 2.5 billion pounds in 730 bars of gold, 6 large sacks of cash and 25 sealed boxes of precious stones and metals. Now imagine how much that would be worth today. Nevertheless, many scholars have stated the significance of this robbery as it couldn't be classified easily. Most of the stolen cash was actually in foreign bonds, which means that the amount of cash can never be really determined. But that doesn't prevent the 1945 Reichsbank robbery from being one of the most incredible bank heists in history. Which one of these would you like to see turned into a movie? Let us know your thoughts below. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on your notifications and subscribe. We'll show you everything worth knowing.